In this video, we're going to talk about the accounting equation. This is the foundation of the whole accounting concept, so it's very important that we go through this in detail. But before we do that, I would like to welcome you all to Accounting Zero to Hero. We are here to help you understand the fundamental accounting concepts through simplified technical discussions and practical applications of the accounting standards. All of this to help you go from zero to hero. Now let's go back to the video. The system, by way modern accounting records its transactions, has been pioneered by Father Luca Pacioli, who is considered as the father of accounting. He is an Italian mathematician and Francis Franciscan friar that was born in 1447. He was also a friend of Albert Einstein. He was also the first person to publish detailed material on the double entry accounting system that we are still using right now. The double entry system means that for every transaction in business, there is always a twofold effect. So, for example, if you buy a laptop as a transaction by paying $1,000 in cash to the supplier or to the store, the twofold effect will be your cash decreased by $1,000 because you have to pay for it to the store. And your resources increased or your assets increased by $1,000 because you now own a laptop worth $1,000. So for every single economic transaction in business, and I mean every single one, you must think of at least two things affected in order for it to be recorded to the accounting books. We're going to discuss this further using the conceptual framework of accounting. So according to the conceptual framework, the first three elements of a financial statement are the following. Number one, we have the assets, the liabilities, and equity. For a more detailed discussion of the first three elements, please visit the links in the description below where we discussed these three in detail in the previous videos. As an overview, assets are the resources that a company owns. Liabilities are the claims of entities on the resources other than those owners of the business. And equity are the residual resources after you pay your liabilities. But the main question is, how does this connect to the double entry system? And how does the double entry system connect to the accounting equation? So now I would like you to Get your brains ready, because I would need you to memorize the next concepts that we will be discussing. Because now we are going to familiarize ourselves with the accounting equation. The accounting equation goes like this. The total of your assets or resources is always equal to your liabilities plus equity or a is equal to l plus e this is the accounting equation simply speaking the resources that you own or your assets is always divided into how much you owe your creditors or your liabilities and the remaining amount is for yourself or your equity 
A more detailed example is in the next line when you think about your $10,000 in cash in the bank. If you have a 4,000 bank loan, your simple balance sheet will look like this. You have 10,000 cash as an asset and your 10,000 is split into 4,000 of loans and 6,000 residual for you or your equity. So that's really the heart of this video. The accounting equation, which is, again, assets is equal to liabilities plus equity. So when I started my accounting studies, the first step I realized was really to memorize the accounting equation. And then trust me, it will come naturally in the future when you need it. But does this hold true in real life? Of course it does. So if you look at the financial statements of Apple Incorporated, the one that makes iPhones, I have downloaded this balance sheet so that we can see the application of the accounting equation in practice. So this is readily available online because the company is listed. We have discussed the parts separately in previous videos. You can see the assets over here. Wherein they're saying that the total assets is 338516, which is this. I have listed this here for easy reference. Their liabilities are over here. We have the current and the non current liabilities, wherein the total is 248028 million or 248 billion, which is here. And then their equity, which is at this part total of 90 billion which is over here so when you add their total liabilities plus equity you will have a total of 338 billion which is the same as their total assets so you see the accounting equation of assets is equal to liabilities plus equity will hold true for every single financial statement you will see no matter how big or small the company is. So as an accountant, the application of the accounting equation is one of the most basic things you will need to check in the reports. Because if your assets is not equal to your liabilities plus equity, then there is something wrong in the accounting books. And you might be asking me now, how does the accounting equation connect to the double entry system? To answer that, we will combine the two concepts through a simple story. Because whenever I read an accounting report, I always love to tell myself stories about it, and I want to try it here. Say you started a business that you named AZH Limited. And you invested $20,000 in cash to start the business. So because of the entity concept in accounting, the 20,000 does not belong to you anymore, but it belongs to AZH Limited. If you look at the first line, the accounting equation of your company looks like this now. We're saying that through the double entry system, there is always a twofold effect. So we need to see what are the two things affected by each transaction with your additional investment or initial investment of $20,000. The two things affected are your asset and your equity because you put in money to your business from your own pockets as we discussed before. Your assets increased by $20,000 because of the cash. And on the other side of the equation, your equity increased by $20,000 by the same amount. So, your accounting equation still holds true. Asset is equal to liabilities, which is zero, plus equity of $20,000. The second part of the story in order to have more capital, you needed to borrow money 
from ABC Bank. So you effectively borrowed $10,000 in order to finance some of your operations. The double entry will now look like this. The two things affected now are still your assets. And now we have your liability. Why? Because you borrowed money from the bank to get cash. So here, your cash increased by $10,000. Effectively, your assets increased by the same amount. And now your liability increased by $10,000. So the accounting equation still holds true for assets is equal to liabilities plus equity with your equity being zero. And now to start your business, you needed to buy equipment. The equipment that you want is worth $5,000, but you didn't want to pay upfront. You're, you said to your the supplier that you're going to pay $2,000 in cash and you're going to pay the remaining $3,000 in the future. Now, this might surprise you or not, but the double entry system works within the elements as well, just like this. So, that's why I'm saying at least two things affected because now we have three things that are affected by the transaction. We have your cash, your equipment, and your liability to supplier. So, your cash decreased by 2000 because you paid $2,000 to purchase the equipment. Your assets then increased by 5000 through your equipment because you got, a, you got an equipment worth $5,000. The net effect in your asset is $3,000. Increase. On the other side of the equation, since you did not pay $3,000 to the supplier, and you'll be paying it in the future, it becomes an obligation. It becomes a liability. So now your liability is increased by 3000 Equity is still unaffected because you did not put in money to the business from your own pockets as the business owner, or you did not receive any money from the business to your pockets as the business owner. So through the accounting process, as an accountant, you will then aggregate all of these transactions towards the end of the year. And then we need to build up a very simple balance sheet from these three transactions. You will see that the accounting equation should still hold true because now you have cash total of 28000 which is from your 20000 investment plus 10,000 from the bank, 30, minus 2, which is 28,000 cash, and then you have an equipment of 5,000. Your total assets would then be $33,000. On the other side of the accounting equation, all your liabilities total 13,000 split between the bank and the supplier of equipment. And then, you still have a 20,000 equity because the only time that you put in money from your pocket was from the initial investment, which is 20. So now 13 plus 20 is still 33,000, which is the same as your total assets, which means that the accounting equation still holds true. So this is a very good example of how the double entry system connects to the accounting equation. So for now, you focus on memorizing the accounting equation. Assets is equal to liabilities plus equity. We have already discussed each of these elements in the previous weeks, so by now you will be more knowledgeable in determining what things fall under each of these elements. 
In the next videos, we will be discussing the implications of the last two elements of the financial statements. We have the income and expenses and how they fall into the equation. I would say that this is where the accounting process gets more and more exciting. So that's it for the video. If you have any questions about the topic covered here, please feel free to comment down below. If you want to be updated on any future topics, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. See you!